The Baltimore woman's poodle is nursing some very serious wounds after being attacked by two pit bulls. The attack happened in the Patterson Park neighborhood on November 18th. 11 News reporter Kai Reed has been following this story. She joins us now live from Patterson Park with details. Kai? Well, Rod, the woman says the dogs weren't wearing leashes or collars and they were roaming the neighborhood unattended. Now she wants those dogs and their owners to face some serious consequences. We should warn you, some of the images in this story are graphic. Good, sweetheart. Three-year-old poodle Misha is bandaged, sore, and recovering from an attack that almost killed him. I personally, in my life, have never witnessed anything so horrible. On November 18th, Joanne Dalgo pulled up to her house in the Patterson Park neighborhood and let Misha out of the back seat. And I turn around, and the dog is lying on the curve, and these two pit bulls are on him, and they are ripping flesh. A neighbor heard Joanne and Misha's screams and tried to help. There was no collar or leash. I grabbed him by the skin. Yes, she wouldn't let go. I grabbed it by the tail and started pulling it and shaking it. He and I were throwing bricks at these dogs and hitting them on the head with pieces of wood, and we couldn't get these dogs off. Eventually, the two pit bulls backed off, but Misha was in bad shape. Joanne described his leg as shredded from paw to shoulder. His tendons were exposed. He had dozens of puncture wounds all over his body, and he underwent five hours of surgery. The vet compared the wound on Misha's front left leg to a shark bite. He said that these dogs had to be trained fighting dogs. Joanne was bit on her thumb. A second dog and its owner were also attacked by the dogs that same day. Baltimore City Police and Animal Control told us they're investigating the case and the pit bulls have been removed from the owner's custody. No one came to the door at the owner's home, which is just down the street from Joanne's. She's filed an official complaint against the dogs and their owners. We think that these dogs need to be put down. I mean, they're, they're, I mean, what if a toddler had been out here playing? I mean, a toddler would have been killed. He almost died. He almost died. Who's the baby? Good boy. The owners told police that the pit bulls escaped from their yard. Misha will likely have to have more surgery and will likely always walk with a limp. A hearing to decide what will happen with the pit bulls or to the pit bulls is scheduled for next month. Reporting live in Southeast Baltimore, Kyrie, WBAL, TV 11 News.